For so many people, Christianity is simply a way of believing things about the world. It's a way of thinking about God, thinking about yourself, and it's a way of thinking about life after death. And I wanted to put an alternative thesis forward. I wanted to say that Christianity is not about what you believe in your head, it's about how you live in the world. It's not actually about life after death, it's about how do we live before death, and how do we find meaning in the very midst of the chaos of existence. I use the title Insurrection because I like the play between resurrection and insurrection. So a resurrection is a rising up and an insurrection is an uprising. You don't believe in the resurrection if you don't believe in an insurrection or if you're not participating in a transformation. This theological and philosophical work that I do is actually a deeply personal expression of my own life. It's been an interesting journey. When I was 17, I had this conversion experience and I gave up everything for God, everything. I, I told my parents that I was part of a new family. I threw out all my possessions. I stopped going to the educational institution that I was part of and I started uh, working for a church. And then when I was 27, I experienced the loss of everything, including God. I started to think that my embrace of God was a way of escaping life and um, it was something that was idolatrous and had to go. And then finally, when I was 37, just last year, I really feel that I found God in the midst, in personal relationships, in my work, and in particular in the life of one other person. And that for me was my experience of resurrection. We actually take great pains to hide who we are. Uh, we take great pains to put an image of ourselves forward that doesn't actually reflect us. Things like Twitter and Facebook, they present this, this kind of idealized version of who we are. The things that we say we believe up here often have little or no reflection on what we truly believe. The things that make us act. And so partly I want to say to the reader to question their faith, to embrace doubt and mystery and unknowing, but in so doing, look at your own life. Look at how you treat the people around you. Look at how you treat yourself. Look at how you engage in the world. There's where you'll find your true beliefs. And for me, Christianity is not about transforming the mind. It's about transforming the beliefs that actually um, transform and our material reality.